Right guys, we're back. Another weekend, another job to do. This weekend we got quite a fun one. We uh, have been avoiding it for about three years. But um, we have here one of the terraces that we've never touched. All of these ones down here, we've always kept on top of and mowed. Obviously the track's all up there. And this is an old almond, almond tree terrace. And we've never touched it. So we decided we're gonna get in there and try and give it a tidy up and hopefully revive some of these trees. You can see most of them are still alive. So hopefully we can do, give it some love. I think it's gonna look well good. Michelle's we've, here to get her hands dirty. We've literally never touched it, have we? Never, never even been in there. No, so it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna look so good. It is quite big. It is big. I think it's gonna look bigger when we finish it too. Yeah. So we've got our tools. Got a strimmer, got a pole saw, and then we've got the ride on. Um, so once we can see a bit of the floor, we might better get the ride on in there and see how that goes. Obviously, I could drive the tractor in if I had it, but that's the way being fixed. So we are left doing it by hand. So we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, it looks nice. Are you ready? Yeah. India, are you ready? All right, let's do it. Right, I've just cleared a um, little path. And we're gonna try and get the mower down in there. Just not not put the bed down. I'm just in first gear. So me and Indy are about to go help Daddy, aren't we, Indy? Yeah. Come on then, let's go see. Oh, there he is. Wow, it was working very well and I got a bit hasty and was trying to do it in fourth gear and popped the belt <laughs> off. So I just popped that back on. Wow, yeah. Shao did. He's such a wild. But yeah, it works, um, works quite well with the old mower, so we're just going to continue. Michelle can drive around on the mower and I'll uh, follow behind streaming. Yeah. Yeah, we've got three trees clear, look. You can see three whole trees. That we can see, Michelle's been battling the shoulder high stuff and on the mower. Which is crazy. And um, yeah, and then we just clean it up with the strimmer <laughs> and it's going right so far. So I was just gonna go make lunch and I'm gonna carry on with the strimmer for a bit. Yeah. Got a little time lapse going up there on the GoPro, so that should look good, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, going all right. But I've got good, loads of oh, my legs, look at my legs. Oh yeah getting smashed in the old legs. I know, I am too. And there's literally five meters of prickles going back that way and I'm definitely not going in there in shorts. Yeah, I, I need those gonna, thick I'm, trousers. I don't know how we're gonna do the thistles yet. Chainsaw trousers. Mm. You don't want to thingy them with your, what you're using. 
Oh Does it flick them everywhere? I've got a hedge trimmer, that might work. I could drive through it, as long as I've got chainsaw trousers on, it's not going to prick me. Yeah, it's more going to pull it though, not cut it up. Oh yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have a look after lunch. Right, my strimmer wires gone a bit short. Michelle's just driven off with my tools and uh, extra wire, so I'll show you where I'm at. We did the entrance here, came in, went through here. And then we've got quite an opening now. Yeah, I got them three trees. Around the corner there, Dan. So like this is all thistles. So I think I need to get my hedge cutter for this. Because that's all a bit thick. And the same on the wall that side. But this middle bit won't take too long. Yeah, and look, that's all thistles there. So, I'm going to go up for lunch, get the hedge car, and see how that works, I think. And then tackle this middle bar, and that'll make it look real nice. Lovely job. Oh, I need to go and get me, go and get me GoPro. That's on time lapse. Save the battery on that bad boy. Right, we're back from lunch. And now we want to get these next three trees cleared. Shell's got the mower going. For all the thick stuff, as she goes up. Getting smashed in the face. Indy's relaxing in the shade. I was going to put some new uh, string on. You right, in? Yeah. Good. Right, we're pretty much done on the inside. Now it's just the two outside edges where all these thorn bushes are. Michelle's got the old secatures going at it. So she's done from that corner to there. And then we've got to get working up that bit. Water! You'd like some water, please? I'd like some water, please. Michelle's problem is she thinks it's her little back garden, so she gets every little weed out from each tree. You get this like perfectionist mindset, and I have to like make it really. Perfect. I'm like, Michelle, remember it's a farm and you've got another 700 yards to do. <laughs> Let's look at your wounds then. Yeah, super spiky. Mm, yeah, nice. Right, I'll stream that bit now then. Action! Okay, day one, we've got all of that clear and we're up to there. So we've just got this final line to do, but this side is thick, thick brambles, so that's not going to be fun, but it's um, coming along. Charles has gone to get the GoPro. making progress. Let's see how we get on tomorrow. Right, day two.
two on the job. And uh, we've got the mammoth task of doing that side over there. And it's just thick brambles. And I'm not looking forward to it. Shout out to Sam Ligani, old strimmer. Finishing up this little hedge bit. Indy sat down in the middle now, look. Yeah, she's looking good today. It's quite a shot driving down and seeing it. So yeah, it's quite nice. How are you getting on over here? Oh, this is freaking hard, isn't it? Yeah, so thick. Like we've tried strimmer this it is a slow process but it's really hard like these are super thick got on my full I do that this way my full um prickle gear on so you didn't get spiked yeah not quite spiked too much yesterday but yeah this is proving to be quite difficult we even tried driving through the middle of the lawnmower and it basically didn't go anywhere did it? no <laughs> it was like a brick stopped. wall this is around the tractor with the mower on the back and just drive through it all. It'll yeah. be done in seconds, but unfortunately we don't have that. Yeah. So now we're going by hand. It is really hard. Which is slow. And we've got about 15 meters of this bush to go. raging ball on this little section with a um, thing. Um, um, um. Okay. So go Dada. Go Daddy. <laughs> Look in D. What are these? Um almonds. Almonds. That's a nut, isn't it? A nut. And it's fluffy. And it's fluffy. Yeah. Um, 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 um. Nuts. They're not ready to eat yet though, are they? Yeah. And this is why almonds are so expensive. <laughs> because there's only on that one, two, three, four almonds on that one. And then, yeah. We're losing a bit of motivation here with these brambles. <laughs> so I reckon let's clear this tree first and then attack the bramble bush. Yeah, I reckon too. Good plan. But look, we've got all the trees, the other three trees clear. Just the bush left to go against the wall. Yeah, it's really hard, isn't it? Yeah. We had a really long lunch then. <laughs> Only two hours. Delayed it. <laughs> two hours, four beers, that's all lunch was. <laughs> but yeah, let's clear this tree, and then attack the bush. Yeah. Oh, that was a green one. Ryan! Oh, oh. 
the reason why it's been so hard to get off. I mean, that's on a tiny twig, but look at that other tree wrapped around that. That, this twig thing, whatever it is. It's like an ivy that's wrapped around the whole almond it, tree. It is like ivy, yeah. Um, and it's literally wrapped itself around and like smothered the almond tree. So weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's grown from the oh, ground. Oh yeah, here's some more. Look, see? Yeah. Crazy, so it was really, really hard. It's like wrapped itself around the whole tree. So that's what we feel like, it's like smothered it. So nuts. But now we've got most of it off, look, and that's what we're left with. Obviously these all need trimming down, but it's a lot killerier than what it was. Now we've got to tackle that back wall, which we are not looking forward to. If we can do that in an hour and a half, I'll be stoked. All right, missed negativity. Got any more negativity for the this afternoon? No, way. we're gonna do that an hour and a half. Wow, well, best get to it. And I'm really hot in this. So I just wondered where Indy was because she wasn't on the lawnmower playing. And I was like, where has she gone? Wow. What are you doing? Castle. Wow, that looks so much fun. You having fun? Yeah. Yay. Um, I'm happy now. You are? Yeah. That's good, darling. Um, I'm, I'm still happy to have you fun. Yeah? Yeah. That's good, baby. And um, uh, I got pretty, I got honey. Yay, well done, baby. Love it. Okay, progress so far. I hope you can hear me. But basically, Ryan's been going at it for like the last hour. Because um, I've had literally no energy. Like, I can't even <laughs> lift. I can't even lift that trimmer. And like, all of these down here, all of these are so thick. And all of them across here are so thick. So when I'm using the... I don't know what they call chopper things. <laughs> um, I literally can't. Like I'm so out of energy. I literally have no energy. Indy's been playing like an absolute dream. And yeah, we're nearly done. And then that's it for the day. Oh, it's not perfect, but oh my god, that was a mission. Ryan's just finishing off the last bits because the prickly bits have gone creeped over the wall. And this is a tree, but look at that. Oh, so good. <laughs> Under the ground. Okay, go cool, find a spot then. Right here. Right there. Yeah. Right, so I was just trying out this brush cutter. I've never used it before on this um, strimmer. I've used one on my other strimmer, but they are just hate them. They like literally sound horrible. It sounds like a ghost. And, it's, um, <laughs> and it literally just cuts one twig at a time. Doesn't like mulch up like a strimmer does. So I don't really like it, but I thought I'd try it on those thick um, stems or thin brambles. 
didn't really I mean, work. It, it cuts it? them one at a time, but that's about it. But then the big one, there's ones bigger than bigger over there that went to even touch and need the saw on. Oh no, but yeah, I don't rate the old brush cutters, to be honest. I prefer a strimmer with good string on. That's it, now fly it down. That's it. Can you see it? Are you close? Well done. Right, stop there. Well done. Good job. Right, that's it. Job done. The brambles nearly killed us. Show us your arms. Oh my god. That was literally. Hang that's on. why. Hang on. Yesterday I had to wear this outfit because I literally got attacked. My legs are the same. Yeah, the black, that wall there was savage. Yeah. Down the end, there's still a lot of roots in the ground, so I need to get the tractor in and have a sort out in there. We actually need to dig them up, don't we? Yeah. But the rest of the place is looking good. Now it looks so good. Um, we do do a bit of research of when and how much to cut off the almond trees. Like obviously that one's very dead, and yeah, also that one. Um, but we need to do some research on how much to trim them back. Yeah. And then Come maybe back to life next spring if we do it properly. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so yeah. We're happy with it, aren't we? Happy with that, and it was more difficult than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, I was like, I guarantee we finish it in a day. And you were like, no, two days. Yeah. It's like three days if you think about cutting the trees and also digging up the root bits. Three days. But it's good because it's a massive area. Big area. The old little lawnmower took a bit of a hammer in. Yeah. But she made it through. So yeah, all good. We'll see you soon. Bye.